Did you know that one of the most influential women in the history of mathematics was also a brilliant physicist and philosopher? Welcome to Mathematic, where today we'll delve into the extraordinary life and mathematical contributions of Emily du Chatelet, a woman ahead of her time. Emily du Chatelet was born on December 17, 1706, in Paris, France, into an aristocratic family. From an early age, Emily showed an insatiable curiosity and an extraordinary aptitude for learning. Despite the societal norms of 18th century France, which discouraged women from pursuing intellectual endeavors, Emily's parents recognized her talent and provided her with an education that was rare for women of her time. Emily studied a variety of subjects, including Latin, Italian, and music. But it was mathematics that truly captivated her. Her formal introduction to mathematics began when she studied under the French mathematician Pierre-Louis Moreau de Maupertuis, who was a member of the prestigious French Academy of Sciences. Under his guidance, Emily delved into the works of great mathematicians like Isaac Newton and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, laying the foundation for her future contributions to the field. In 1733, Emily met the famous French writer and philosopher Voltaire, who became her intellectual partner and companion. Together they embarked on a journey of exploration in the realms of science and mathematics. Their partnership was one of mutual respect and admiration, with Voltaire recognizing Emily's brilliance and supporting her intellectual pursuits. At the Chateau de Cire, where they lived together, Emily created a haven for scientific inquiry. She transformed the chateau into a center of learning, equipping it with a library that housed the works of the greatest minds of the time. It was here that Emily began her most significant work in mathematics and physics, combining her deep understanding of both Newtonian and Leibnizian principles. Emily du Chatelet's most remarkable contribution to mathematics came through her translation and commentary on Isaac Newton's Principia Mathematica. At the time, Newton's work was already recognized as groundbreaking, but it was primarily accessible to those fluent in Latin. Emily took on the monumental task of translating the Principia into French, but she didn't stop there. She also provided extensive commentary and explanations, making the complex ideas more accessible to a broader audience. Her translation, published posthumously in 1759, remains the standard French translation to this day. In her commentary, Emily not only explained Newton's theories, but also critiqued and expanded upon them. She explored the concept of energy conservation, proposing that energy is proportional to the square of the velocity, what we now know as kinetic energy. This idea was a critical step forward in the development of classical mechanics. Emily also made significant contributions to the field of calculus, which was still in its infancy during her time. She worked on refining and expanding Leibniz's ideas on the subject, and her insights helped lay the groundwork for future mathematicians. One of Emily's lesser-known yet profound contributions to mathematics and physics was her work on the principle of least action. This principle, which would later be formalized by mathematicians like Euler and Lagrange, states that the path taken by a physical system between two states is the one for which the action is minimized. Emily was one of the first to recognize the importance of this principle in explaining the laws of motion. Her work in this area demonstrated her deep understanding of both the mathematical and physical aspects of the universe, showcasing her ability to blend these disciplines in a way that was unprecedented for her time. Emily de Châtelet passed away tragically in 1749 at the age of 42, shortly after giving birth to her fourth child. Despite her relatively short life, her contributions to mathematics, physics, and philosophy have left an indelible mark on history.
Her work influenced many of the great thinkers who followed, including her own son, who became a prominent mathematician. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the life and contributions of Emily du Chatelet, don't forget to follow Mathematic for more fascinating stories from the world of mathematics.